It was an incredibly special day for me. February 11th, 2006. For all of the young men out there, when you meet the young lady that you want to spend the rest of your life with, and you know that the moment is near, you want her to know that you want to spend the rest of your life with her. The custom around the world in so many places is to go and get an arabone, an arabone for your finger, as they say it in Greek today. Arabone. Arabone is a word that was used in Greek 2,000 years ago as well. They probably pronounced it a little bit differently, but, but an arabone is a down payment. And an arabone for your finger is a down payment that is put on the finger. We call it an engagement ring. It's a promise that there is something more. It's a promise that I will be your husband for the rest of my life until the Lord separates us. The engagement ring, this concept of a down payment or a promise is used by the Apostle Paul to speak about something that God has given to you as one of his children. Now, if you could think of God actually putting a ring on your finger that tells you you're mine, wow, like you would wear that ring so proudly, you'd be showing everyone, look at this, I am one of God's children. And he's promised me that, well, what's a down payment that God could give you that has a future promise in store? Well, the future promise in store is heaven. What if you had a ring that God had given you, which you could wear and show everyone, and it told everyone else, guess what, I'm going to heaven when I die. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? I think we'd all be wearing it. We'd all be showing it. We'd be, we'd be so grateful that God had made such a promise to us. Do you know what God's engagement ring to you is? The Holy Spirit. Yes, that third person of the Trinity that makes his home in you when, well, when he brings you to faith. We are spiritually dead by nature. We are caught up in our own pursuits and pride. The Lord helps us see that all of that can lead to nothing but eternal destruction. We fall into sins. We have reason to be ashamed. And then the Lord tells us that the Lord Jesus has died on the cross for all of our sins. That seems so simple, doesn't it? But it's absolutely fundamental. It is the truth that has changed your life. And when the Holy Spirit creates that trust in your heart that all of that is true, the Holy Spirit makes his home in you. And the Holy Spirit, as a consequence of being in you and through the powerful word of God, which is the sword of the Spirit, he works in your heart peace and joy and, and patience and perseverance. And while you also have that sinful flesh that's fighting against it all the time and can make you feel like life is hard, and yes, it is because of that struggle, the Holy Spirit is there through his word to give you victory to assure you that you are forgiven for those times that you fall. That Holy Spirit, what a blessing from God. And as you rejoice in that gift from God, the Apostle Paul in his letter to the Ephesians lifts your eyes to something more. That you can know that as the Holy Spirit has made his home in you, there is more to come. The Holy Spirit is God's engagement ring to you, and it is his assurance to you that there is an inheritance, a setting free of your body, which is currently impacted by, by sin, a setting free of your body from all that is sinful to live forever with the Lord.